It's your girl, Just T. I'm coming at y'all with an awesome, awesome recipe. Awesome recipe. I'm about to come through for y'all, all right? Because see, we close to the holidays. New Year's Eve is tomorrow. Tomorrow, y'all, right? So I got a nice little recipe for y'all. Y'all can make this recipe for, like, if you're having guests, you're going to be entertaining people, or shit. Valentine's Day is coming around the corner too, and this will be an awesome recipe for you to make for your boo or for your boo to make for you. So y'all ready? Come on, come through y'all. Come on to Just Ease Kitchen, baby. We about to get it in, all right? Let's get it, y'all. Let's go. Okay, y'all, so what I got for y'all, what I got for y'all, how I'm about to hook y'all up, right? We are about to make some chocolate bowls, some chocolate bowls, some strawberry shortcake chocolate bowls so in order to get that done y'all and this is gonna be so easy it's gonna come out really really good all right i'm gonna show y'all step by step i'm gonna show y'all how to get these done so first of all you need some type of melting chocolate whether you like dark chocolate white chocolate whatever kind of chocolate you want you're gonna need some melting chocolate you're also going to need some balloons now i would prefer water balloons you want them to be small but I couldn't find any water balloons this time of year. I guess ain't nobody trying to get wet in the winter time. <laughs> so I'm going to go along with these balloons. And you're going to need some type of pound cake or, you know, the little strawberry shortcake um, little cups. They didn't have those either. But that's okay because just tea got it. Right? I know how to improvise. So I have some pound cake. We just going to cut that on up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show y'all. You're also going to need some parchment paper. Non-stick parchment paper to be exact and of course you're gonna need some strawberries go need yourself some strawberries and just for like decorations and stuff I have like some I love Heath candy bars y'all oh my god I love Heath candy bars so we're gonna get to using those and I'm gonna show you how to we gonna use those as well now y'all I cannot pronounce these is it pure pure lean pure lean I'm like, pure lean. <laughs> These chocolate wafers. They're wafers with chocolate in the middle. But we're going to use some of those as well, y'all. Don't judge me. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. So, and also, I just have some little, some little decorations that we're going to put on top and everything. And also, I will show you guys, because I did forget to show you the whipped cream. We're going to need some whipped cream as well. And I had that, but I just didn't put it out. It's actually in the refrigerator. And we're also going to need some cupcakes little cups, cupcake cups, <laughs> and I just chose gold, so we're going to get all this stuff together, I'm about to get on to the next step, and we're going to put all of this goodness together, together, baby, we back, and I took the chocolate out of the box, now this chocolate in here, and it's going to be this, let me show you guys what it is, so you guys want to try this, because I'm sure you're going to want to when it comes through. But this chocolate is going to go into the microwave. We're going to put it in there for 60 seconds. And it should be melted by then. And it says on the box, if it's not melted by then, then put it on for 15 more seconds. But you don't want to burn your chocolate in that microwave. So I'm going to go to the microwave and I'm going to put this in there for 60 seconds. All right. And we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I just went and melted that chocolate. It actually came in a microwave-safe container. Well, I think you guys saw it. I hope y'all saw it, because I threw it away. <laughs> but anyways, I transferred it to this bowl. But I put it in the microwave for 60 seconds. It wasn't fully um, melted. I stirred it up with the spoon, and then I put it back in for 15 more seconds, which it says to do that on the box. And also, let me show you, because on the stove... I have a small pot that I have on simmer that I'm keeping on there just in case my chocolate, you know, gets too cool because I'm doing something else, you know, in between me trying to make this video for y'all, then I can put that on there and it'll still keep my chocolate nice and warm until I'm ready to use it, you know. But with that, if you, this is called double boiling your chocolate. So what you would do is you would put like a, about an inch to a half an inch of water in a pot or a pan. But you don't want the bottom of that bowl to touch any of that water. You just want it to double boil, basically. All right. Let me put this back over here. 
and then we're gonna get started to dipping these these um balloons in here but i want to let this cool off just a little bit because it's a little too hot right now so i'm gonna let this sit for just a just a little bit maybe about about maybe a minute i'm gonna give it like a minute to just cool down some and then we are going to get started with those balloons all right okay y'all and so we're back and we're going to get this going let me make sure my chocolate is still okay it's still smooth look at that spoon got a chocolate covered spoon so now you're gonna have to blow up some balloons <laughs> and so what i did is i blew some balloons up these are like five inch balloons i'm not sure but i think they're five inch i will actually look at the bag and i'll show you guys but you want small balloons get the smallest balloons like water size like water balloon size balloons and i just blew them up enough to where they would fit right into this little cupcake holder right so what you're going to do now is we are going to get some chocolate and we're going to i hope y'all can see this so i'm going to put some in the bottom of here and then i'm going to move it around so i want to get it all on the sides just spin it around Spin it around and hold it over your container just in case some drops out. But you want to get that chocolate all over the inside. And put some more in there and just keep spinning it around. Just keep spinning it. We want it to get all in those creases of that cupcake paper or muffin pan. Yeah, and y'all, these will be so much fun with little kids. They would love stuff like this. But like I said, you can make this for the New Year's that are coming up or Valentine's Day is coming around the corner. You know, you can make those. All right. So now I open up my heat bars. I'm going to try to do this kind of quickly, but I open those up as well. And I just have some laying here on my parchment paper. And I'm just going to sprinkle some of those in there. Just sprinkle them all in there. Sprinkle them all around the sides. This is going to be so good, y'all. Wait till y'all try this. I swear you guys are going to be like, oh, just tea. Thank you. Well, it is just tea. Y'all can call me tea. <laughs> so then we're going to dip this chocolate. We're going to dip this balloon. But this is the size that I blew them up so they would fit in here. So I'm going to dip this in here. I'm going to dip that in there. And let it drip off. I'm gonna try to pick this up too so I can show you guys. Just gonna let that drip off. And then just put that right on in there. Just like so. Right? You're gonna put that in there, and then you're gonna put these on a some type of plate or you know, whatever you want to put them on. Hell, you wanna put these in the refrigerator <laughs> for like 10 minutes. About 10 to 15 minutes until that chocolate gets nice and hard for you and then once that happens I'm gonna do the rest of these but once that happens I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go on to the next step because it's getting better baby it's getting better all right come on walk with me right walk with me oh lord have mercy getting chocolate all on my hands y'all yeah, that shit is good all right y'all I'm gonna show y'all again with, with another one just in case so I put chocolate in the bottom of there and you're just gonna Roll them around because you want it to get all inside of those creases in there. So that's going to help form that shape. It's going to look like a big ass Reese cup. So you want to turn it around. I said you might have to add a little bit more chocolate in there. But this is a chocolate bowl, so it's going to be chocolatey. Oh my gosh, I love chocolate. Spin it on around. Shouldn't take a whole lot. I said you gon' it's a little messy though. You're gonna get a little bit. So just trying to pour off some of the excess that because we don't need all of that. I just needed to fill the inside of this this little container. So just gonna pour that off. Yep, and now we're going to get the little Heath bars. 
sprinkle those all around inside all inside sprinkle them in there now come on this is gonna be awesome 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 and that's how the inside is gonna look let me get this spoon out the way get a balloon move this Ooh. and just dip it let me hold this up for you guys but yeah you just want to dip your balloon right in that chocolate dip it in the chocolate pick up your little your little cupcake little um cup and just let it drip off and like i said these only take about about 10 15 minutes in the refrigerator to um to harden up and then the fun part i'm telling you kids would love this especially when you pop those balloons kids would love it put it right on in there see that look at that come on y'all walk with me right yes t got you baby i got you i'm gonna put this on my plate with the other ones in the refrigerator but i got you y'all so last i left you guys we had blew those balloons up well i blew them up i wish y'all was here to help me blow these balloons up i got asthma <laughs> but anyways blew those balloons up dipped them in that chocolate put them in the refrigerator and let them chill for like 15 minutes and this is how they look when they come out so now this part we're gonna pop them we're gonna pop these now with the water balloons they usually come off a little bit easier so with these, let me try and show you guys, make sure I'm in view. Okay, you guys can see it. So I got me a little needle. I'm going to pop this balloon. Make sure this is the right side that I'm popping it with this needle little. So you're going to pop it. That shit almost scared the hell out of me. So I think kids would probably really get a kick out of that, right? And you're going to, with this needle, this is how I get them off. I pull it around, pull it. Pull it, you don't want to, you know, force it too much. You don't want to pull it too fast either or too hard. But I just stick this in there in the balloon and pull it, pull it away. And then you just want to get that out of there. Just pull that on out of there. Like I said, nice and easy. You want to pull that off. Okay, we got that part off got the balloon out make sure all of that balloon is out of there y'all get that little bit of chocolate out right so that's how the middle looks and now we're gonna have to take this paper off now i have not found an easier way to take this paper off so it may take you a little bit you know of pulling it off it's not probably gonna mine usually don't come off in one just snatching it off like a band-aid can't do that so i usually try and find a little spot on here and you want to be kind of gentle and find a spot where I can lift this up at. See how I can lift it up there? And then I just start trying to pull it away like that. And just lift it up. Like I said, it might not come off all at once. In one, you know, in, in one pull, I don't know, you might be better than me, hell. But if you know an easier way to get this off, maybe y'all can let me know. Because I have not found one yet. And so we just, well, it did come off in one. Okay, T, go ahead, girl. Come through then. And so what I do is I just break this chocolate off the top. Just break it off. But if you want to leave that on, you can, of course. And then I'm going to show you guys how, how it looks once I get this off the top. These are going to be so cool, y'all. I can't wait for y'all to make these and try these out. Because y'all going to be like, mm-hmm, come through, come through. So, this is what this looks like. Let me try to get a close up. Uh-oh, let me see where I'm at. Okay, so this is how it looks. This it looks like a big-ass Reese cup, y'all, right? Big old Reese cup. That's what it looks like. All right, and so, let me move this little chocolate. And see, I, like I said, you're going to need that parchment paper. You want your work area to, you know, you don't want chocolate all over your counters and all of that shit. So, I usually use parchment paper as um a working space when i'm messing with chocolate so now we have this chocolate cup 
I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. This is some pound cake. I just cut a piece off. So I'm going to cut a piece of this pound cake. I'm going to cut it. Hopefully y'all can see me. It's going to cut off a piece. Don't matter. Just cut a little piece off. We're going to cut these into like squares. All right. Not big squares. Little squares. Because you're going to want them to eat these with some little spoons or something. You know how you can buy those little, them little cute little fancy little spoons, you know, where they hold their little one pinky up. Got to get those. And my strawberries. Now, you want to make sure you rinse your strawberries off very, very, very good. All right? Rinse them off. Rinse them off. Ain't nobody trying to eat no nasty, dirty strawberries. They be having all kind of grit and stuff on them. Rinse them off and then pat them dry with a paper towel. All right? So, we got that, right? So, I'm going to cut up this strawberry. I'm hoping y'all can still see this. Let me try to move it out the way. So I'm just going to cut this strawberry. Just going to cut it into some bite-sized pieces. Now it don't matter if they're even or not. Just cut them up. Some little bitty pieces. I'm going to cut them up. So I'm going to try to show you guys two of these. So Get another strawberry cut up. Cut it like so. Just cut it. Like I said, it does not matter how you dice this up. If the pieces are actually, you know, identical or not. Just chop them up, y'all. Just dice them up into some small dices. See that? Just cut them up. Cut them up. So we got that. Let me move my knife out the way. And now I opened up, and let me show you too. These are those, um, <laughs> I cannot pronounce this word. Pure line, pure lean. I sound like I'm country as hell when I say that. Pure lean, um, cream filled wafers. That's what these is right here, y'all. Yep, so that's those. And these pockies, these things are so freaking good, y'all. Some of those, these are just gonna be for decoration. And I told y'all that whipped cream, I know y'all got some whipped cream at y'all house. Mm, I know you do. Don't play. I know you got some whipped cream. Everybody keeps some whipped cream in their own refrigerator. You know what I'm saying, right? So let's get to making these, all right? So we have that cup, right? So we're going to put some cake. Put some cake down in there. Put some cake in there. Put yourself some strawberries down there. A couple strawberry pieces. Put them on in there. Because we want people to be able to eat this, too. With the, you know, maybe with the little, like I said, the little spoons or the little forks that you can buy. Those real small ones. I have some. I'll show you guys. But um, put some of that in there. We gonna put some whipped cream on there. Let me get these heat bars because I'm gonna use some of these too. Those heat crumbles, toffee bites. That's what we gonna use. Let me put some of these down here too. Get me some of those ready. And you can put how much filling in here you want. But I'm just doing, you know, cake and strawberries right up in there. Cake and strawberries. Put it on in there. Get your whipped cream. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it. And it's going to go around. Start on the edge. Make sure it's shooking up really good. All right. It's going around the edge. Now, I ain't no artiste or anything like that by fire, y'all. Not at all. But, you know, you get the idea. You want to make it look cute. So, you want to make it look cute. And so, what we're going to do here is we are going to get some of these little things, you know, that I can't pronounce. Put one of those down up in there. Uh oh, let me get it on in there. Come on, T. Put that on in there. Put that in there. We're going to sprinkle some. You guys can see this. Let me hold this up. But you can do this, you know, sprinkle some of those on there. You can do a bunch of stuff with these little things. Sprinkle some on top. I just think this would be really nice for your guests, you know. Like I said, New Year's Eve is tomorrow, y'all. And, um, uh oh. And it's like so much stuff you can do with these, you know, 
put a little kiss up there or something, you know? You can do a lot of little things with these. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys one more time, all right? Because um, I, I, I want to eat this one. I, I do. I want to eat it. And if you put these, if you are serving these to guests and everything, keep them in the refrigerator, I would suggest. Don't put your whipped cream on yet because if you put your whipped cream on and you put them out and sit them out, Y'all know that whipped cream is going to melt, right? Yes, it's going to melt. So what you do is you just get a couple of those ready. You know, have them in the in the container. Have them in your little chocolate container with the with the um pound cake and your strawberries or whatever else that you want to put in here. Have them ready and in the refrigerator and on your little platter. And then when you're ready to serve them, then you start putting on your garnishes. You know, your, your little fancy little things that you try to put on here. And then put your whipped cream on before you serve your guests. All right. So I'm going to do one more. So like so. Oh, whipped cream on oh, me. Just crumble some up in there in the little cup. These are so good, y'all. These are so freaking good. So we're going to just crumble those up. Put some strawberries in there. Put you some strawberries in there. Come on. Y'all get the idea. Put you some strawberries in here. Shake up your whipped cream. Go around it. Now, y'all, I like, like a lot of whipped cream. Lots of whipped cream. So let's do a couple of these. I'm going to break. Oh, yeah, I'm going to break this one. I'm going to break it. Break it in half. Stick that on in there. Put a couple pieces of this pound cake on top of it. Some pound cake on there. And put a couple of your strawberry pieces up there. Oh, Jesus. Can't hardly pick them up, y'all. Come, come help. But you know, you get the idea. You can dress these up any way that you like. Like I said, they they would melt. So you definitely don't want to put the whipped cream out with them like that. But just prepare them ahead of time. Have them on your little platter in the refrigerator. And then when you get ready to serve your guests, and then you just go ahead and, you know, put your whipped cream on them. Make it do what it do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, y'all. It's just tea. I had so much fun today making these. I swear to goodness I did. I love to cook y'all i hope y'all have an awesome 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 ass new year's blessed all year you hear me you hear me you hear me i was about to say you feel me but i hope y'all have an awesome blessed new year's y'all stay blessed thank you for watching y'all it's just tea come get some